Hello friends. In this lecture, we will see how to create this solid model in NX. So here I have one front view, one side view and one detail view. And this is isometric 3D model. So I'm going to start with this. So let's start with NX. So this is the view. Click here and uh, my plane is this click and reverse the orientation or keep it like this no problem and I'm starting from here so click here say this or I can do like this go to this one a little bit lower than here and here so this dimensions are too long okay so just undo and use this so starting from here smaller line a little bit up again here and now use offset I want to do the offset of this at 3 and use this line to match this and here also now use dimensioning from here to this portion this gap is 90 close drag it where it is going okay so undo undo first I'm just defining the this is 7.5 so from here to this line this gap is 7.5 right and again this angle for angle use this angle this line and this line this angle is 40 now change it to 19 and go to this rapid from here to this point this gap is 37.5 okay and finish and 6.5 is the extrusion value so select this 6.5 divide by 2 and use symmetric and okay and rotate it like this so the slope will come here now sketch select this face and I want to keep my orientation like this so this will be the horizontal orient and click OK and use the circle center is this and 5.5 .5 is the radius so let me do the dia and one smaller is also there so click here smaller circle is 4 in dia Now use this line, draw a little bit tangent, again circle from here to this and the size is, this size is 13 radius, so 26 will be the dia, close and use this arc, one more arc is there. Okay, and next line is next is arc so I'm using arc from this point to here and a little bit like this okay and use this trim to cut it and its dimension is 10 radius Let's change it to 10 and close okay and next one more line line is from here to it is touching with this so no need to match this line just draw okay and now angle so I'm going to define this angle 
from this to this line this angle is 27 and again 6 so this line and end of this point end of this arc this gap is 6 okay and 27 6 13 already defined this one we will define in 3d and here this center the center of this arc this 10 arc center is here so this center this center and this line this gap is 5 and this point and this horizontal gap is 2.5 and use this okay its position is not properly so let's wait two auto constraint is there and see this 37 and 12.4 draw one more line from here to this line select this and this okay and change to reference now the angle angle between this and this is 37.5 and the gap is from this to this point 12.4 this gap is okay no need to define this gap and only one auto constraint is remaining which is this okay so pick and see it is already okay so just trim it just trim and from this match this so my sketch is defined finish and use this extrude and go to region bounded shape so this and this and this 3 is uh, distance but in reverse direction unite apply okay and again this portion is 3 c6 so 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 unite and okay hide this hide this but still I want this curve the second curve so show it and I am going to cut this portion in reverse direction change to subtract and hide it here I have two fillet so use this fillet and first fillet define here this is 0.5 apply then go to this this is one and okay otherwise both will merge together if you will define uh, this first and later this one okay so this is all okay you can match from here and uh, radius is there this portion is still remain for this go to this face and use arc And it should be tangent to this one and the dimension is from this and this point is 2.25 2.25 is a gap and the radius is 26 extrude the reason is this reverse direction okay hide this curve okay so this is the model hope you understand
how to create this so thank you for watching